Hi guys, in this video we're going to show you how to use the Draft Assistant with Sync during your live draft. As a Draft Wizard MVP or Hall of Fame member, you could use the Sync Assistant to get stress-free drafting with pick-by-pick -pick suggestions, updated cheat sheets, and easy player comparisons for quick decision making. Now before we start, please keep in mind that the Draft Assistant cannot make picks for you. Your picks must still be made via your league's actual draft room. Also remember that the Live Draft Assistant can only work with the Draft Wizard leagues that have been synced to their host site. You can check out our video here on how to add a league to make sure you're set up correctly. Now when you're ready to draft, go to draftwizard.fantasypros.com and click on the Draft Assistant link in the menu on the left. Then click the View button next to the league you want to use the Live Draft Assistant with. We're going to select an ESPN league for this video, as the Draft Assistant's functionality with those leagues is a bit different. Currently, Draft Assistant users with ESPN leagues are limited to only using their Light Draft application. If you're wondering what that is, it's basically a less flashy version of the normal draft room. You can see what it looks like by running a mock draft over at ESPN and choosing to launch the Light Draft application. Now before we launch the Assistant, you want to take note of one thing on this page. There is a sync button underneath your league rules. When you click this, the Draft Wizard will attempt to pull in all your league settings including scoring, draft order, and keepers directly from your league. If you've made manual changes to any of these settings beforehand, clicking sync will override those changes. If your league is configured correctly, you can go ahead and click the launch sync assistant button and choose the cheat sheet you'd like to use. Open up the light draft application over at ESPN by going to the My Team page in your ESPN league. There, you can click on the Light Draft button located on the red bar that says Your Draft is in Progress. Once you've opened up the ESPN Light Draft application, click on the Launch My Assistant button. Now keep in mind that you could use the Draft Assistant in one of two ways. You could choose to switch back and forth between the Draft Assistant and Draft Room tabs or windows, or have the Draft Assistant on one half of the screen and your Draft Room on the other half. For the purpose of this video, we'll be splitting our screen between the Draft Assistant and Draft Room. All picks made in the ESPN Draft Room will be updated in the Draft Assistant by either clicking on the Refresh Now button or by enabling the Draft Assistant to auto-refresh every 20 seconds. Now watch as I refresh the Draft Assistant to update its pick suggestions, then I'll make a draft selection and click on Refresh to update it again. Notice that my selection has now been added to the draft log. From here, you can take advantage of the recommendation filters and also adjust the information that's presented to you. If you want to add another player for comparison, just start typing his name in the search bar and add him to the player queue. If you don't like one of the recommended players, you can just X them out and choose one of the available options. There's also options to change the overall view. And you can always look at the cheat sheets, the pick predictor, and the roster watch tabs below. Well, that's it for this video. Many answers to questions can be found on our frequently asked questions page located here. You can also email us at draftwizard at fantasypros.com. Thanks for watching and good luck this season.